Yumeko Story. It has been three years since Yumeko started learning English to prepare for the day would be working globally. First, she had set up her goal for learning English, which was to work in a global IT company within five years. Since she was busy with work, childcare, and housework, she could not spend more than an hour per day for her study. However, she decided to continue her study every day after her children went to sleep. After one and a half year, Yumeko was able to describe most of day to day activities in English, so she started taking online English speaking courses once a week. Every time she talked with her teacher, she brought discussion topics. Those topics varied from what is your favorite season of the year and why? To what are the biggest social issues in your country? Another year passed. Yumeko became more comfortable to carry on a conversation in English for more than 30 minutes at a time. One day, when Yumeko was talking with her English teacher using online video chat, her husband Yuta came home from work. Yuta is an IT engineer. Yumeko met him when they were working at the same IT company 10 years ago. Yuta was very surprised when he overheard Yumeko talking with her teacher about global warming and its possible effects. When Yumeko was finished with her lesson, Yuta said, I thought you were watching English news. I was surprised that it was you talking with your teacher. Yumeko was very happy to hear that. Yuta has been supportive about Yumeko's dream to work in a global company. He even became a conversation partner on weekends because he also wanted to learn English. Yuta also said, Don't you think it is about time that you start looking for a new job? I think your English is good. Yumeko said, Oh, I'm not sure. Hana just turned four years old and I still don't have experience working in English environment. Yuta suggested Yumeko meet Mie, her former manager at the previous work. A week later, Yumeko met Mie for a tea on Saturday afternoon. Yuta stayed at home with children. Mie was a manager when Yumeko was working at the previous company where she met Yuta. Mie left the company to go to business school in the US for MBA. After Mie came back to Japan, she started working at an American IT company as a vice president. Yumeko, how are you? You look good. How is Yuta? How old are your children now? After catching up with each other, Yumeko asked for Mie's opinion about changing the job. Mie was delighted to hear that Yumeko, after receiving advice two and a half years ago about her career, Continued learning English on her own. Mie said, You never know if your English is good enough to work if you don't try. I will introduce my headhunter who helped me to get current job. His name is James and he's always very helpful. A few days later, Yumeko received an email from James. From James Young to Yumeko Gaishi. Title PHR Japan. Meeting request. Dear Gaishi san, hello, my name is James Young from Professional Human Research Japan. Ms. Mie Kotani has forwarded your profile and resume. I would like to set up a meeting so we can discuss more about your experience. Please let me know of your availability next week. Our office is located in Ginza. Rigors, James Young. Yumeko replied, From Yumeko Gaishi. To James Young. Title Re PHR Japan. Meeting request. Dear Mr. Young, thank you very much for your email. Mie san spoke very highly of you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in person. About meeting, how about February 15th at 6 p.m.? Thank you and regards. Yumeko Gaishi. When Yumeko met James for the first time, he said that he spoke Japanese fluently but suggested the meeting be held in English. Yumeko and James spoke for over an hour mostly about her experience in the current company.
When James asked about her career plan, she could not answer, so he recommended her to come up with a 5 to 10 year plan until next meeting. James was very confident that Yumeko's English was good enough to start working. Yumeko, still unsure whether she could change the job now or not, asked James for some time to think about it and went home. After talking with Yuta again, she decided to apply some of the positions James referred. From James Young to Yumeko Gaishi. Title PHR Japan. Introduction of Opportunity. Dear Yumeko san, thank you very much for your time yesterday. As I have mentioned at the meeting, your English should be good enough for some positions we have. Attached is a copy of additional job description for ASIAC International. If you are interested in the position, I can explain more. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask. Regards, James Young. From Yumeko Gaishi to James Young. Title Re PHR Japan Introduction of Opportunity. Dear James, thank you very much for your time the other day and email. After talking with my husband, I decided to apply for some of the positions you introduced to me the other day. About Ashiek International, I would very much like to hear more details. Please let me know how we can proceed. Thank you and regards. Yumeko Gaishi. Three months later, after 12 interviews with four companies, Yumeko received an offer from a multinational IT company called Ashiek International. Headquartered in San Jose, California. Her first day at office was set to June 1st. In the morning of first day at new company, Yumeko was making breakfast at home when Yuta asked, So it is your first day, how do you feel? Yumeko replied, I feel excited and nervous at the same time. My manager is Singaporean who speaks little Japanese. I don't know if I'm going to do well at work. Yuta said, You have studied English so hard for the past three years. I'm very positive that you will do well at your new job. Yumeko was slightly relieved after talking to Yuta and left for work. When Yumeko stepped into her new office, her manager Cindy was there to welcome her. Good morning, Yumeko. How are you today? Then Cindy introduced Yumeko to her new colleagues. You remember Tomo and Keisuke from interview? You will be working with them closely as we are a team of four. In Japanese custom, you will usually have welcome dinner, but since I have children also, we'll usually have welcome lunch. Is there any food you like or dislike? There are some good restaurants near our office. Do you like Korean barbecue? Thai food? Italian? Chinese? Surprised by her offer, Yumeko replied, Oh, I didn't know. I brought bento today. Cindy said, No problem. Let's have your welcome lunch tomorrow. Cindy showed Yumeko around the office, introduced her to some people so she can start working more comfortably. Yumeko was relieved to find out that most people she'd be working with were Japanese. When she came back to her desk, Tomo explained some of the projects he and his colleagues were working. Tomo graduated from the university in the US with a computer science degree and worked at a consulting firm before he joined Ashiek International two years ago. Yumeko spent most of her first day talking with her team members, absorbing a lot of information. So she was feeling exhausted when Cindy came to talk to her. Cindy said, So, how was your first day? Yumeko replied, I feel very tired, but I'm excited to get my hands on some interesting projects. Cindy was happy to hear that Yumeko looked enthusiastic to join the team. She said, Go home and rest well. I will see you tomorrow. No bento tomorrow, okay? Several weeks passed. Yumeko finally started feeling she was part of the team. Sometimes, Yumeko had to take work home to finish, but she always went home at 5 pm. Cindy spent time at least once a week to speak with Yumeko privately to bring her up to speed and practice English. 
Yumeko was now much more comfortable to work in English, and that was when Cindy asked Yumeko if she was ready to take a more responsible role. She said that Keisuke just handed in resignation letter. Yumeko was shocked to hear that Keisuke leaving the company. Cindy said, You know the project Keisuke was leading with ABC Company. I would like you to lead that project. A proposal presentation is scheduled in three weeks from today. I am very positive that you are capable of doing the job. Since Keisuke was with Ashiek International for more than 10 years, there were a lot of information to hand over, but he prioritized to spend time with Yumeko for smoother transition. The proposal presentation was held at a large meeting room at ABC Company. Yumeko was introduced to senior executives of the company by Keisuke. Alex Thomas, this is Ms. Yumeko Gaishi, who has just joined us several months ago. She will take over the responsibility of this project after I leave Ashiek International. Yumeko san, this is Alex Chan, senior vice president and CIO of the company. And this is Thomas Brown, managing director and CFO of ABC Company. Yumeko nervously introduced herself. Hi, I'm Yumeko Gaishi. I'm glad to meet you. Alex said, Nice to meet you, Gaishi san. I'm looking forward to hearing your presentation. Thomas said, Nice to meet you. I'm Thomas. The presentation went very well. There were some questions from Alex and other staffs. However, Yumeko was able to answer them mostly by herself. On their way back to the office, Cindy congratulated Keisuke and Yumeko for success of their work together. Several weeks passed by. When Yumeko was wrapping up for the day, Cindy, looking delighted, came to her and then said, I just heard from the legal department that ABC Company had signed the contract with us. Congratulations, Yumeko. Good job. Following several months flew so fast, Yumeko felt like she was barely surviving. The project with ABC Company was challenging for her because a half of project members had international background, therefore, common language was English. As a replacement of Keisuke, Kentaro joined a few weeks ago. Kentaro was also assigned to the project with ABC Company as an assistant project lead. Can you help me with the status updates of India team? I don't think they reported it last week. Cindy came back from her lunch break when she heard Yumeko talking with Kentaro. Yumeko, are you speaking English with Ken? Yumeko replied, Yes, everyone in this project speaks English almost fluently, so I want to practice as much as possible. Cindy said, I noticed your emails and documentation have improved in the past six months too. This is my third year in Japan, and you are working in this company for only six months. I notice your English is so much better than my Japanese already. Another week passed, and Yumeko had a one on one meeting with Cindy for her performance review. It was at performance review that all employees at Ashiek International receive feedback from their supervisors. If the review is good, excellent, or exceptional, then they will receive bonus and a raise. Cindy said, You have received an excellent this year. Great job, Yumeko. You are the only person who has received an excellent in my team. The contract with ABC Company has brought us a few million dollars, and clients' feedback was very positive too. Do you remember Alex? He made sure that you get an excellent this year. I'm glad that you have earned clients' trust as well as all project members. Keep it up. Yumeko, Thrilled to hear Cindy's comment, went home and shared with Yuta, who also congratulated and said, I know how hard you worked for the past few years studying English and reading all business books in English. You have earned it. I'm so proud of you. Yumeko broke into tears when she heard this because she was feeling guilty for not being able to spend much time with Yuta alone, especially for the past few months. Yuta added, Hmm, I should study English as well. You never know, you may be transferred to Singapore office or headquarter office in San Jose in a few years. 
Which book did you use to study English again? Yumeko smiled and answered. This one, multilingual method, learning English only in 30 days.